Hello everyone. I want to go over this uh, text box. It's a text group in the tab section in your ribbon in Microsoft Office 365. <clears throat> so what I'm talking about is this group that is inside the ribbon you know uh, if you go to the insert <clears throat> so I'll try to make this a real fast um, video but there's a lot really to go over it I might have to break it down into two sections let me see what I can do for y'all <clears throat> so uh, if you go in and uh, create a new document in Microsoft Office so let me create a new uh, a new document for you real quick here. <clears throat> Give me a second because it's opening up in another window here. Let me slap that guy in here. Okay, so I want to go ahead and change my layout. Uh, that's okay. In the margins, we'll use uh, normal. Okay, so first of all. We'll, we will go to the first part of this so if you go to insert and then you go to text box so what this does it, it, there's some pre-selected uh, boxes or pre settings for Microsoft Office right I'll, I'll put up a, a couple of them so you have this one here and with this box here you um, um, you can add text to there but here let, let, let me let me hit control Z and let me slap some uh, text in here so equal R-A-N-D random I want let's say uh, 50 paragraphs and I want four sentences per paragraph and that throws a, a couple of pages in, into our document. That way you can see how it uh, affects the document. Now, so if I go in here and I go to insert, go to text box, okay, and I'll insert the first one. Watch what happens to the text. It threw, this is where my cursor was so anything it, it, it actually put it at the at the back of it so let me let me see if I click here and then I do that again go insert go to <clears throat> um, excuse me insert quick part or that's text box and you see what it did it placed it in here but it had to it wrapped all the text around it you know you would have to go in here and then uh, change the, the the behavior of it right so you can click here and do this to it okay and then you can do change it and we'll go over that later but that's the first thing that that does okay um, so there's there's the, the first one then so all of these other ones are the same thing. So if I click here and then I um, go to text box and I'm going to put this one. So it's going to slap it on the right hand side and it wrapped all the text around it. So you can play around with these things. And um, so if you wanted to play some, some of this stuff, then, then you, you have that option. Okay. So we're going to hit control Z. Then you could actually set your pre you can draw your uh you can create your own and save them and it'll be good for for the gallery for that particular document right it's something that if you use all the time uh another thing you can do is draw a text box so if i click on draw text box and i click and drag it created this text box it created it based on my uh, I wanted to do a, a certain characteristics you know so what I wanted was uh, you know 
I wanted that, that particular font. I want it to be white in the middle. I didn't want it to text around. I didn't want the other text to go around it. I want it on top of the text. And so every time I create this box, it, it does that for me. Okay? In, in, instead of going in and using that, that first one. Okay, so now, <clears throat> the next thing we'll do is talk about quick part. Okay, so I'm going to be brief and I'll continue with all this parts and if you want to continue watching at the end because you want to see what that really does then you can watch uh, watch the rest of the video or I, or I might break it into different parts so uh, so let's let's click here right in the front right and let's say that I go in here and uh, add one of those quick parts so it's text that you have selected or typed so that when you click on it you see how it says video provide if I uh, actually that it that's part of the same sentence but so I'll hit a bunch of returns so you can see the, uh, where it places it so if I go quick part all I did was copy that same thing so uh, I'll go to the end you see it placed that for me because I told it that I want that uh, stored into Microsoft Office okay or I could go in here and go quick part and I got some more you know so in and, and th this is just little words that I used for, for uh, to demonstrate um, you know you can another thing you can do Yes, let's say that you use something all the time. So watch this. You see in front of this uh, word, when, I want to put my email address. If I type H-M-E-N, you see how that thing automatically showed up? All I got to do is hit enter. And it's not going to get put a return. It's just going to place that word inside where I selected just by keying in a few things and you, this could have been a whole paragraph it could have been 20 paragraphs if you program it right all you have to type in is a few characters and then hit enter in a space or like if I was doing it here I wouldn't have to put a space I would just have to put H M E N you see once you go to the fourth character all you do is hit enter it didn't place an enter it just place the text inside there it already has a return already because when I click in front of it it already had a return okay so now uh, so that's what this quick part is now uh, and so I, I, I do a lot of um, teaching for insurance companies well I also teach plumbing electrical AC I teach uh, Microsoft Word Excel PowerPoint Xactimate Symbility uh, probably but well I teach about seven other programs but <clears throat> so I teach a lot so I'm always creating manuals okay so let me open up a manual um, just from uh, let me see if I uh, so like this right here this tool procedure and setup okay these are my notes because uh, this was something new that I started doing for insurance companies this year so I created a document that told me what I have to do this is my first step second step you know third fourth fifth and so on but also I use a program and that program is called Xactimate so in Xactimate there's a lot of things that we had to do to Xactimate that we normally don't do for other carriers. So I created a like what I call a sheet sheet, right? So that look how many steps I had to do that are kind of a little bit different than our normal uh, setting up of this program. 
So I created all of these uh, steps. It's a lot of steps, but if you create something like this, it's real important that you don't miss no steps. And yes, you can see there's huh, you know, at least 50 or 60 steps that you have to follow. Okay, so, so when I'm creating, um, uh, when I'm creating what I call SOPs, I'm military, so uh, standard operational procedures, I, um, I always go in, and what I used to do is I would go in and um, uh, insert shape, and uh, I would click here. Now, this is going to act the way I want it to because I've already told it, but before, when I clicked here, it would be a black text and it would wrap around like the other one and when I typed inside it you know uh, it would be black so in addition to that I would have to go in here go insert then I'd have to go to my quick part or uh, text box I would have to create a text box because uh, and then I'd have to change it because you see it wraps around and I, I, I I didn't want that, so I'd have to go in here. Uh, on my fill was okay, but I wanted the outline to be uh, <clears throat> um, red, and then I wanted the weight to be two and a half, uh, two and a quarter pikas wide. Uh, then I would have to go in here and type a, a word like you know text. Let's say text. I would have to go in here change the the font uh, the font color to red then I would have to go in here insert a shape uh, let's say an arrow and but remember by default everything would have been black but I've already changed all those preferences in my Microsoft Word so it's a lot of steps every time I had to create a new SOP. Now, so what I did was, I mean, I started doing this a few years ago, but now what I do is I go to insert, I go to, um, to objects, excuse me, I go to quick part, go to auto text. And you see right here, if I click here, it's going to throw those in there for me. So now, I, let's say that I wanted that here, and let's say that I wanted to uh, change or, or highlight that, and uh, I could go in here and point to this, and... Uh, and then I would I would say make changes. Okay, that saves me a lot of time. So that is what this is. This quick part I created my own. Okay, so now. So when you go to quick part, you see this thing that says document property. This is real, real, real cool. There's limitations and you got to know what you're doing when you're doing this. For instance, um, I'm going to put in abstract. Okay. And then I'm going to hit uh, return. Oops. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put a bunch of returns because I'm gonna show you a few things. Okay, so I'm gonna put abstract. Then I'm gonna put um, author. I'm gonna go in, uh, since I am the author of this uh, computer. It automatically put my my name. But um, so um, I'm gonna put I'm gonna just do two or three more. Okay. And then do, um, let's say, keyword. Okay. Now, and then what I'll do is I'm going to copy. 
and I'm going to hit Control V and Control V. Okay, so these are like placeholders is all it is. So let's say that I copy and paste that into a big document. When I click here and I change this to, let's say, uh, uh, Google, look what happens to this one and this one. As soon as I move away from it, it changes it to Google, okay? And Hector, let's say that uh, I didn't want my last name. I can delete it and it changed all of them, okay? Uh, for category, let's say cars. And I delete off it, it automatically changes those. And here, keyword, uh, let's say I put uh, uh, mouse wheel. Okay, and it changes it. So what would you use this for? Let me show you. So, you know, in the insurance business, we constantly have to do a bunch of, they're called GLRs, uh, general loss reports, or uh, sometimes they call them notes. So, uh, here, these are a bunch of different, let's say, documents that I've combined it, combined together. So normally, most most guys are gonna go in there and they would uh, uh, that have a, a, a word document for this. If you you know this is pretty long. It's it's a, actually like a whole word document. Uh, they have another word document for this, another and so far. Okay. And the problem is that when we're out there, we we don't know how we're gonna handle a claim. For instance, either I can uh, attempt contact, like this would be a note. I could do an attempt contact. I could actually contact the insured. I could do an inspection note, and which is pretty long. I could do a settlement note. Depending on your level of expertise, you would either do this one or this one or this one. This is like more in my category. We, we do what we settle on site. In other words, when we go to a person's house, uh, we write them a check on the spot. Or we can tell them, hey, I'm going to pay you X amount of dollars for the, uh, the damages that you sustain to your property. Or I might go in and do an inspection for a condo. You never know if you're going to do a condo, a commercial property, a uh, residential. So each one of these things have different things that you're going to have to do. So, but they all are going to have certain things that are common to each other. So like for instance, abstract. That don't mean nothing to nobody except to me because I know what that what in my mind I want. So if I do a, con, a control C and I do a control F for uh, find and then hit control V, everywhere you see abstract like here in uh, insert info or contact letter, it put this thing in there and what what in my vision was to put a telephone number. So remember, right now it says abstract. So if I click here and I change, let's say uh, my telephone number, I'm not gonna put my telephone number because I'd get a bunch of calls, so. Um, okay, so let's, oops. Uh, whoa. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, I want it to be a one, and I wanted those to be a apostrophes, not apostrophes, but dashes. Okay, so remember before, if I went in here and did a search for abstract, I saw it in three different places. Now, if I hit search, and I don't, I don't see nothing, right? But now, if I go in here and find, tell it to find one, two, three, dash, look, it changed it here, it changed it here. This is the insured other telephone number, right? And then down here, there's a letter that says,
My name is Hector Mendoza with Liberty Mutual. I am the adjuster to inspect your property for the loss. I have tried to reach you by phone at. See, so in in this document, there are several documents, but they're all going to use that telephone number that, um, uh, for instance, set appointment. And it says title here, right? The reason it says title, because there are only a few abstracts that you can use in Microsoft Word. You're limited to uh, to um, here, excuse me, give me a second here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I wish they had like thirty, but and just because it says address, you don't have to put address. The problem is with this um, property uh, uh, document properties. They, you can only, you can't change the name, okay? And you got to know, in other words, I might not use, use it for a company address. I might use it for something else. For instance, I set the appointment for, okay? So if I go in here and type uh, title, look how many times title which is that I set the appointment for show up in different scenarios because every one of these are a different scenario or a different document so let's say I set the uh, the inspection for 11 uh, 19 2021 20, which is today at uh, 3 p.m. okay now now if I do a search for 1119, let me show you what it did. There's different scenarios, but they all are related to each other. In other words, like, let's say that I did the, uh, uh, it's called a inspection note. And in here, I only typed it one. I didn't know who, which which of this uh, documents I was going to use, but I knew that that particular uh, time had to go in a particular area. So it says, inspected property on 11, 19, 20, 21 at 3 p.m. with Mr. Insured. No signed contract with a contractor at this time. So... If you see, there's all kinds of different um, things that I like. For instance, let's say that um, the age of the house. You know, I go to Google and uh, I do all my I, I, all my uh, data or all the information that I need for that customer. I do it the day before. So a lot of times we got to go look at Google and then it'll tell you that the house. Uh, uh, was built uh, in uh, 1987. Well, wherever that word is going to go, it's going to place it in its, per, per, you know, wherever it belongs. So th that what that does, and it's real, real cool. It might sound um, hard, but it's not. I, I'm able to produce fast, fast, fast work by doing things like this. Okay, so I've been doing this for 24 minutes. All I have done is talked about the text box and quick part. Um, and specifically auto text. Uh, and, all, and we talked about document property. Field is a um, I don't really use that I'll, I'll, I'll show you what it is but uh, I, don't, I don't use it so I'll just show you what it does so if you click here 
then you can go and use different kinds of field pre-selected things but I, I, we're not going to go over that I don't even use it so uh, you can probably find this on the internet and let me see let's go to um, block building block organizer so all this is is a lot of pre-selected text like the ones that I, I showed you here that I, I created in addition to that are some that are built in with Microsoft Word okay like uh, you know your headers your footers your uh, just a bunch of pre-selected items so if you click here you could go in here look down here I know that text is even he, even with my monitor right now it's real small but all of this are different um, blocks that are pre filled or you know you know we've created them and here you can delete you can insert or you can edit so uh, like that text box that I created I can actually edit it edit here so that's what that does um if what you ought to do is watch the next video because the next video and it's, it's going to be uh named similar to this one here what i'm going to name this one is um text from the insert tabs in microsoft office 365 but then there's a, a few other things that I put in there so when people do a search for they're gonna find my video but all you have to do is look for the same video so for right now I'm gonna say goodbye I will post this and you can watch the next ones and I'll talk about the signature line I'll talk about the time and date stamp that's kinda of important that'll go fast but the one that's pretty cool is this object okay you really want to see that if you if you create you know things like this you know when I'm uh, when I'm doing things I, I, I let so all these things are stuff that I've created where I don't have to go in there and then uh, uh, do a lot of typing because it I, I created this document where, where I don't have to do a lot of typing anyway Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, become a subscriber because I got a bunch of cool, cool stuff that I use in a bunch of different programs. Like I said, I'll see you on the next video.